How to add Payoneer payments on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with adding Payoneer payments on Shopify. Now, Payoneer is one of the world's most largest seamless online payment system built for small businesses. Payoneer has been a large utility to a lot of freelancers and small businesses in accepting global payments. Payoneer allows you to accept payments worldwide and you are easily able to convert between multiple different currencies at the lowest possible exchange rates. So you can hire and pay talent anywhere, you can use it in your Shopify stores, and it has so many different applications. So if you want to accept payments in a simple and easy way, and you want to facilitate your customers into paying with Payoneer, you can integrate Payoneer into Shopify. Now, how can you do that on Shopify? First off, you're gonna log on to your Shopify store. So this is our Shopify store over here. Once we see our Shopify store, we're gonna go into settings on the bottom left. Once you go into settings on the bottom left, you are going to go into payments. And once you go into payments, you're going to click on choose a provider. Now you have two options under Payoneer. So if you search for Payoneer under providers, you will see this platform called Payoneer Native Checkout Cards. And this is a direct payment system where you can click on install and install this particular method. However, this is a card checkout system. So if you're looking for Payoneer specifically, instead of the checkout card, you can directly go back. And if you go into to the payment section on the left if we go back into payments and then if you scroll down you will see supported payment methods so under supported payment methods you can click on add payment method and search by the specific payment method of payoneer now if you cannot find payoneer under your provider or your payment method that might be because of your store location because not all countries are currently allowing payoneer to be their payment provider so depending on the region where your shopify store is located that might impact whether or not you can offer this type of checkout so if you want you can directly go ahead and use Payoneer checkout so you're going to go into here now they have a two percent transactional rate so this is a pretty industry standard rate you don't have to really think much about it because almost every other payment processor is going to be charging this type of fee so you're going to select this and then click on install on the top right once you do click on install a new tab will open up now and once this new tab opens up, you will have Payoneer Checkout. So this is the Payoneer Checkout application that needs to be installed for you to accept Payoneer payments. Click on install once more. And once you click on install once more, it's going to lead you to the next step, which is going to be authorization. And once you do that, you guys can see it will say you are not accepting payments with Payoneer Checkout. This is because you need to finish setting up your account with your provider to start accepting payments. So click on manage account over here. Once you click on manage account, this will open up Payoneer and you can click on register or sign in. If you already have an account, you're going to sign in like this and you're just going to open up your Payoneer account over here. Setting up your Payoneer account can be a pretty uh, simple process. It's a few simple and easy steps. So to create your own Payoneer account, you will have to complete ID verification, which a lot of people do not realize. So you do have to complete all of your business information. Payoneer checkout specifically requires you to have your own Payoneer account, which is a business account, to accept global payments on your online store and manage all of your funds in one platform. So you have localized support. This is what your checkout and transactions are going to look like. You can have transparent pricing, multiple payment methods, fast settlement, and optimized to reduce declines. This can be tailored to fit your checkout needs and optimized for every device. They have seamless UX to drive conversions, flexible to fit your business, as well as intelligent features that help with localized language support for your payment processing page and custom payment methods based upon your shopper's location. Not only that, you have amazing tracking tools like tracking your earnings, as well as robust fraud protection in case you ever receive a fraudulent order. Then you also have intelligent dispute management. They have dedicated local support with your native language, as well as their resources, which can help 
you in setting up your payment form. Not only that, but you have shopping cart plugins, which we are using like so. So if you're using this type of application, it's a plugin. However, you also have embedded payment pages as well as hosted payment pages, which allows you to accept payments on platforms other than Shopify or platforms other than the platforms that are supporting Pioneer plugins. So you can have a standalone checkout page, landing pages that are direct purchase pages, which can be just another way to sell your product. And just like that, you can start accepting payments with Payoneer. Keep in mind, you do have to authorize and verify your business information. So you're going to have to click on register over here. This includes any tax information, depending on the region you're present in, phone numbers, email addresses, as well as your business information. And then you do have to verify your business identity. So once you have completed all this, you can go on ahead and proceed with Payoneer. However, some people might just start out their business. And if you are someone that has started out their business, they do not have a payment solution, you do not have a business account on Payoneer, and you still want to accept payments via Payoneer. So you are just starting out and Payoneer is like the only platform you know about. Then you might want to opt for Payoneer because it's so seamless and it's so widespread. So if you are trying to do that, then you're going to have to go on ahead and use Payoneer as an individual. So how can you use Payoneer as an individual to accept payments? Well, if you are looking to accept payments on Payoneer, uh, with Payoneer on Shopify, you can click on settings on your bottom left. And once you click on settings on your bottom left, you're going to go into payments on the left. So you're trying to accept payments on your personal account, which is again, going to be a workaround. This is not a direct method. It's not something I recommend for businesses, but it's an alternative that is available to you in case you do need it. So for that, you're going to scroll down, click on manual payment method, click on create custom payment method. Here, you're going to name this Payoneer and you're going to display additional details. So this is going to be displayed to a customer when they're choosing a payment and then their payment instructions are displayed after they place an order. But you want to type everything in the additional details so it's easily visible to your customer. In this, you're going to type in the email you want to send the payment in. So please send your order total amount at xyz at gmail.com payoneer account and send a screenshot of your order at xyz email whatever is your order email order management email and then they can send a screenshot of the payment that they have sent to your payoneer account and that is how you can accept payments in an indirect way directly into your personal account on payoneer it was pretty simple and easy but i do recommend using the plugin instead this is just a alternative in case you are not able to set up your business account or if you need a quick and easy solution uh, that you want to set up instantly however eventually i do always recommend opting for the plugin instead and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video